I have a deep, lingering fear for future scary games. With Unreal Engine 5 being in the hands of these creators, there ain't no telling what's going to pop up. What's up, guys and gals? Welcome to The Outer Middle Show. Mad Vlad is the name. And Exanimum, the silent call, <laughs> is the game. Exanimum? Exanim I don't know. It's a weird name. Now, I haven't done research for this game. It looks really bad, though. And, and I guess you could say a good way. Listen to the menu music. Oh, sounds like the start of a dead mouse concert or something. Let's hit play. I don't know what this game is about. Why am I here? Good question. I don't remember anything. That's what I said when I was born. The only thing I remember is that I was driving with my daughter and my wife in the car. After that, um, oh. what is this? Bro, what is on my head? Oh no, this is a, this is an insane asylum. Why is there blood on the floor? Am I in a straight jacket? I don't know what this is. Hello? God. Let me out. Maybe I can flush the toilet and put my leg in it. Maybe it'll suck the suit off. I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Doors unlocked. Look at that. Tray of medications. All right, somebody unlocked the door. I got in a car accident. Instead of being in a hospital, I wake up in an insane asylum. This layout looks familiar. Can't go downstairs. Surgery. This has got to be one of the craziest starts to a game I have ever experienced. Locked. Can I run? I can hobble. Okay, there's a staircase. Let's check this door. Oh, it opened. What is this? Ah! Bathrooms. What is that sound? Maybe I'll close this door? Sounds like something's trying to bust out. Locked. Locked. Okay, let's go downstairs. I cannot see anything. I just ran into a wall. Aha. Uh, director's office. Won't open. Looks like the director's not in there. Can't open that door. Shift. You run through it like a potato? I don't get it. Valve? Well, we've got to click on everything because I don't know what the hell is going on, man. It says shift. I don't know if it's trying to tell me something. I've been holding shift. Let's go back. Okay. Ah! Oh, God. What the hell was that? I think there was a jump scare right here that I missed, maybe. Well, I didn't miss it. I pooped a little, that's for sure. I, I don't know what's going on, man. Aha, it's open now. It just magically opened. What is this? Keys. Okay. Uh, collect. Got some reading to do. Read the note. Subject, Jason Mercer. Dear authorities, this note contains important information regarding the patient Jason Mercer at St. Valentine's Hospital, or Valentine's Hospital. Jason Mercer is a 37-year-old man who, was recently who has recently been admitted into our hospital. 
He is undergoing treatment at St. Valentine's Hospital, but we do not have complete information about his condition and treatment. More information is needed about his personal and medical history. Based on our observation at the hospital, we would like to highlight some important points about Jason Mercer. Jason is an extremely mysterious and introverted individual. He struggles to communicate and often appears to be withdrawn into his own inner world. Scroll down. During his time at the hospital, Jason has been observed experiencing hallucinations and occasionally dissociating from reality. This raises serious concerns about Jason's mental health. We do not have clear information about why and how Jason came to hospital. <laughs> he has not provided any explanation during our conversations with him. It is imperative that Jason Mercer's treatment and observation process be closely monitored. Additionally, strict adherence to hospital security protocols is essential. We request further. We request. I can't talk. We request further investigation to obtain more information about Jason Mercer and his treatment. Sincerely, Nikola Tesla. <laughs> per, per, what does that say? Petrovich. All right, man. Awesome. Little note about me. We got some keys. Human psychology. That rhymed. What do these keys go to? Aha! Uh -huh. I don't know if I use keys on that, but... Punishment cell? Shock treatment. It's all your fault. I bet it is. Shock treatment therapy. Good lord. That's a nice room. Anything in here that's interesting? I wish I had a flashlight. Yeah, there is literally nothing in here. Maybe let's sit in the chair and go for a ride. Yeah. Definitely can't do that. Alright, so we've got keys. I just... Uh, do we have an inventory? Yes, we do. We still got the keys. Pilts. I don't know what the hell that is. We are literally just hobbling around in a mental hospital in a straitjacket. If somebody catches me, I'm in deep trouble. They'll just box me around like a toddler. Maybe we go back upstairs. Maybe this door opens. Aha! Keys. Front door. Get me out of here. Oh, come on. Kick the door in, man. It's a double door. It's a Dumbledore. Is that another exit? I can't tell. It is impossibly dark in here. What is that? A weird light leak action going on. Another door. I don't know, man. The screaming is kind of getting to me. Oh, this is the poopy room. Uh, you might... Did he... You found a key. I was gonna say, man, did he just drink that? It's locked. There's blood in there. We've got another key. Maybe... Maybe it leads to the front door. What is this? Another note. Let's read. From the early hours of the morning, the influx of patients and visitors began. However, the day started off like any ordinary day until those strange phone calls arrived. At 1030, the main phone rang with a call from the number 2120. Initially, I thought it might be a routine call from a patient or visitor, but there was no sound. Only silence and a strange static noise could be heard. I waited for a while, but there was nothing on the other end. A few minutes later, a second call came from the same number, and this time strange noises could be heard. I started, feeling, I started to feel a bit concerned and decided to record the call and report them to security department. To the security department. However, when the third call came, I was met with an even more alarming situation. The caller was speaking incoherently, and their tone was unsettling. I immediately informed security department and continued to keep records of the incoming calls. We had never encountered such situations before. 
For the rest of the day, things proceeded normally among the patients and visitors. However, those peculiar phone calls still lingered in my mind. A little backstory there. Added notes to documents. Ah, really? Where, where's the phone at? What? Why does it... It feels like my... My eyeballs have been zoomed in or something. There's the phone. Aha. What was that number again? I can't remember. It was like 2120. I think that's what it was. 20? 1? 20. Right? No? Was that not it? Yeah, that was that was kind of weird. Let's get out of here. Let's leave. Yes! Yes! No way! No way! That's never happened in any video game ever. Oh, come on, man. What is this? Uh, it disappeared. Okay. Well, I would say climb the fence, but I know that's probably impossible. I would really worm it over that fence, bro. I don't care. I take off running and I do a hot dog flip <laughs> right over the top of it. There's no barbed wire. All right, man, I wish I had a flashlight. It is so hard to see out here. It's probably even harder for you guys to see. Yeah, there is nothing out here. We got to get out of here, man. Gotta be another way. Really? What is this? The ring? Hey, can you open? I don't know why at that moment, but I just apologized. And she said, This is your fault. Oh. The car crash. Oh, come on. Was it a dream, dude? I would never go to sleep again. Turn off the alarm. Will do. There we go. Find Jessica. Jessica? <laughs> Honey? Cinnamon apple? Hey, there's an apple right there. Where's the cinnamon? <laughs> That is a reverse titty light. I've never seen anything quite like that. Or is it just a light casting a shadow? Anyway. You guys know where I was going with that. Jessica? Somebody's been in here. It stinks. Let's check and see if there's... Yeah, no. She must have glued it shut. So I wouldn't look. <laughs> Jessica was changing clothes in the room. We had plans for today. Uh-oh. Uh, we caught her. Awesome. Where, where's, where is she? She said she's changing clothes. Take care of your daily needs. Wash your face, take a shower, use the restroom, have a snack. What in the hell is this? Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, do we have to do it in that order? I do have to poop. What kind of pee sound is that? Alright. I was hoping it would let a fart. That would have been great. Boy, that was a quick shower. Let's wash our hands. <laughs> Why we need to wash our hands after showering is beyond me. I have never in my life washed my hands. Washed, washed my hands. After I have showered. That's weird. Some weird pictures, man. Uh-oh. Phone's ringing. It's probably Jessica. Ready to argue with me. 
Hello? The caller was Emily, Sarah's mother. She asked if we would come to the birthday party. We were about to hit the road. Awesome. Snack it up. Ah, yeah. You just ate that in one bite. Is that everything? Is there a checklist? Whatever. Should have left it up on the screen, man. I think we did everything, though. Pretty sure we did. Man, I know this house. Yeah, this house was in that snowman game. If this is the garage, man. Yep. It's the snowman game house. After taking the flashlight, get into the car. Okay, is the flashlight in here? Yeah, it's over there. Ooh, shiny. What is this, a Crown Vic? Looks souped up. It's a Mercury. Might be a Sable. Which is not bad. It's a Battle Axe. Big land barge. All right, man, here we go. Off to the birthday party with my invisible girlfriend. We were running late for the birthday party. That's why we chose for the shorter forest road, but a tree had blocked our path. Ah, great. Yeah, that's why you don't ever take the shorter road. Never. Stay on the main roads. All right, got our flashlight. This looks pretty good. I don't, th I don't know if this is Unreal Engine 5. Yeah, I think it... I'm not... Yeah, yeah probably not. It is unreal, though. I know that. And, the, dude, the, the flashlights in these horror games have improved dramatically. I should first explore the surroundings. That's, what do you think I'm doing? Where's Jessica? Man, that tent is insane. Is it 0%? All right. Looks like somebody intentionally put that in the road. Is, what is, is that a cow? a dead cow and it's been eaten out oh cool let's not turn around and go back or anything like really no one answered who would I be calling Yeah, I'm not seeing anything, man. Maybe now we can go down this way. Let's just, let's get out of here. Come on. Get in your car, turn around, screw the birthday party. Who has a birthday party at night anyway? That makes no sense whatsoever. Can we go this way now? Yes, we can. Follow the lights. And why the hell are there lights out here? Yeah, this is confusing. Is that a house? Wait a minute. Hang on. I keep hitting space. It keeps zooming in. That's probably why it was zoomed in in the hospital. I'm so stupid. I had my thumb on space on accident. Yeah. Okay. So we've got a cabin. And I guess we're going inside. Bit of lettuce. Aha, there's the door. Yeah, what is this? This must be the storage under the house. I hate it already. Okay, yeah, this is storage. Foundation under the house. Let's go upstairs. Cobblestone stairs. Nice. Well, flashlight died. Why am I not surprised? That's pretty nice, though. Pretty clean. Stuff sticking through the floor. What does that say up there? Uh, maybe we can read it from the other side. In God we trust... We will ma make it. I don't know what that says. And what is that symbol? Is that a 
It looks like an X'd out radioactive symbol. I think... No, that's not radioactive. I can't remember what that symbol means. Maybe in the chat. Let me know. I can't remember. I'm stupid. Okay. We've got a can of tomatoes. Can I duck? Yes, I can. Hello? There's a tree in the road. Clock's broken. Cool. Got a bed up here with a TV. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Okay, looks like a picture of some headlights. It says, is someone watching us? How'd they get this picture developed so quick? That does not look like a Polaroid. Very strange. Whoa. Either that's a door or someone ate beans. What is this? All right, crouch. I heard something open over here. I don't know what it was. Well, the atmosphere is creepy as hell. Hello? What is up with all these noises? A lot of dressers right here. What is this? Is that a proton pack? Ghostbusters are here. I heard something open, but I don't know what the hell it is. My stupid flashlight still won't work. Nothing in there. All right, well, we're going to keep looking around till we find something, I guess. I know I heard something open. Uh, the clock stopped. Okay, never mind. Uh-oh. Is this the door that opened? Yes, it is. Going upstairs. Why is there a red light? Is this a brothel? I'm here for the $2 shakedown. Is that locked? Definitely locked. Oh, my flashlight. Sweet. Okay, some blood right here. No problem. Someone had the chili. I warned him. Hello? Ah! God damn it, son of a bitch. Oh, yeah, that's fantastic. Uh, I must say, that's got to be the dumbest skeleton I've ever seen. Oh, no, I heard Jessica scream. Yeah, it was easily the dumbest skeleton. It didn't have a damn hip bone. I... Sounds like I'm being chased. Okay, okay. Oh, no. There's a red-eyed demon out here. Okay. Oh, no, it's raining. Let's get back to Jessica. Like, what? I'm so confused. Why? Well, we ran into a log. Let's walk around. Who does that? I would have just called and been like, look, we're going to be late to the party. We ran into a log. And that would have been it. Well, let's get out of the car and look around in a place we have no clue about. We'll do. Okay, uh, here's the car. Jessica? Jessica is not here. That's great. Ah. Oh. My God. I hate this. It is so damn loud. All right, gate's open now. Looking for Jessica. I would have just gotten the car and left. That would have been the man. Okay. 
Okay. So. Yeah. No, no problem. We got this. Following the lights. We're just gonna move on after a fucking skeleton. A naked skeleton ran across our path. I'd be like, Jessica, you're on your own, dog. I'm sorry. We've got stamina, too. That's terrible. Now... When I'm playing this gameplay, it is extremely loud. Like, I can't even hear myself talk right now. So, even the smallest sound causes my sphincter to kiss outward. I'm probably going to be deaf by the time I'm 43. I don't know where to go. Let's go this way. Ah, this flashlight effect, man. So bad. I heard dogs barking, and there's an invisible wall right here. I am straight stuck. Okay, back on the path. We're going high up in the mountain. This dude's legs gotta be tired. I am getting wet as hell. God, that's loud. Ah! Okay. This dude, the stamina this guy has is terrible. What is that? Flashlight. Ah! We're getting close. Oh god, what is that? Did you see it? I know you saw that. Let's walk towards it. No, I'm not gonna do that. Let's follow the light. Okay, here's the house. I'm hearing jingle bells. And it looks like, oh my god. I thought that was just a shadow. Okay, locked. This house looks familiar too. Back door. Yeah, I know this house. Oh no, there's blood. Yep, this is a uh, this has got to be a missed survival house. While searching for Jessica, I had found a house. Perhaps she could be here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Lights work. Sorta. Yep, this is a, uh, yep, this is a Miss Survival House. Closet right there. I know this house. A box of crispy breakfast cornflakes. All right, let's read. Today I got lost again. Those great clouds are hovering above me, enveloped my soul. <laughs> In, what does it say? Enveloping my soul. I think that's what that says. The medications, uh... As if attempting to alleviate the darkness in my mind, but how effective they are, I don't know. This frail body, this tired mind, feels like it's getting heavier every day. No matter how hard I try, I feel like I'm lost in the darkness. People around me talk, laugh, continue living. I, on the other hand, am an observer, a mere figure existing on the edge of life. Even though I'm in this world, I can't establish a connection with it. Damn, that's deep. My journal is a kind of internal scream. 
Perhaps no one will read these lines, but writing them seems to alleviate this weight, if only a little. Yet, even among these pages, I feel lost. Maybe this loneliness could lead me to find someone, perhaps in a place where I'm lost. I can find a glimmer of hope, a light. Maybe. Man, that's sad, dude. All right. Note added. We got some, we got some plain flour. I'm kind of hungry. I'm just looking for something to snack on. Extra virgin olive oil. Ooh, somebody cooked me eggs. Can't eat them, though. Locked. Flashlight don't work again. Can't open the drawers. Yeah. This is definitely a Miss Survival House. They've used this house in so many games. Um. Hello, sir. Uh. Yeah. What? Oh my god, that freaked me out. This is a, uh. Uh, what do you call it? A ceiling titty fan. <laughs> uh. Uh, I'm gonna take this key in your neck hole. I guess. What? Well, whatever, man. I hope you have a good day. A better day than you've been having. Basement should be right here. Locked. Bathroom should be right there. It's locked. Alright. Got the light. This is just another room. Locked. Let's go upstairs. The off is on. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, but choose. You can't use this item here. Uh, I don't know what the hell's going. I'm just. Still got the same toys in it. Only the room is smaller. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh no. Hello? It's very dark. Yeah, no shit, dude. Turn on your flashlight. I don't want to go back downstairs. There's got to be something in this room. Okay, there's a lock. Okay, so we need to find some bolt biters or something. Bolt cutters. Hmm. Don't see any in this room. All right. Well, let's go downstairs. Try the doors again. We've got a key. I don't know what it goes to. Oh my god. Uh, sir? Your friends seem to be a little different than you. <laughs> oh my god. flashlight that's just great you know what I'm not going in there not gonna do it what the hell is this huh I don't even know what that is is that a zero or ow my neck yeah I don't know what that is I have no clue what that is Oh, I hate the music. I hate it. Do I still got that key? No, I don't. I must have used it. I think this is one of those event-based games where you just got to kind of walk around and let things happen, you know? Yep, I knew it. We don't have a light source. It won't, dude, it won't even let me walk in there. Yeah, now I'm stuck. 
Maybe we need to go back in the kitchen. So far, pretty solid. The plot is kind of weird. But it's, it's got my giblets wiggling. That's for sure. Basement. Nope. Bathroom. Nope. All right. Well, let's go in the kitchen. Pantry. Nope. Stop it. Yeah, that did nothing. Man, I really want those eggs right now. There's no reason to be in here, dude. It's just too damn dark. I could have swore I heard something open. Maybe let's go out the front damn door. We haven't tried that. It is locked. Stupid ceiling fan. I've never heard a ceiling fan make that sound. Maybe I need some batteries. Okay, now that opens. That's weird. I just tested it. Oh, there's the gaming system. And what appears to be. Oh, God. What is that? A one. So we got zero one. Don't, don't do that. I don't want to hear a damn word. Stay out of the comment section. Hello? What? You want my backside? Is that what it said? Oh God, he turned around. Okay, uh, we got... <laughs> Jessica? Oh, God, here's the bathroom, man. <sighs> Jessica, look. Get out of the bathtub and just walk towards me, please. Well, it looks like we're going to have to go to her. <laughs> what? Okay, I don't want to turn around. Okay, we're okay. <laughs> we're in the bathtub. You leave us alone, please. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good joke. Okay, it won't open. Good. <laughs> what happened to the laughter? <laughs> now it's weird. I'm over laughing at myself. Yeah, that's not a good word. Not not a good word. Oh, come on, man. Uh, Jessica, you're a lot taller than I remember. That didn't scare me as much as it hurt me. That hurt really bad. I'm telling you, man, I'm going to be deaf by 45. Okay, we're okay. It was a prank, bro. It was but a prank. What now, man?
What now? Where did the body go? Well, that's not good. Can I please leave? I wish my damn flashlight would work. Yes, let's, uh... I'm gonna check this room real quick. There's gotta be... What is that? Exanim... Oh, <laughs> it's, it's this game. <laughs> that's a good one. <sighs> Don't play that one. What is this? Again and again? Oh, they've got another game. I don't know if I've played this or not, but we'll check it out. Okay, same game. Hi, how you doing, sir? Uh, so there was a padlock on something. We've got zero one so far. Can't remember where that padlock was. Is this a combination lock or is it a... Oh, key. Can't use this here. Okay, so we've still got a key, though. What door have we not opened? The basement. Oh, no! The basement. Okay. Let's go. That's not the basement key. Thank God. All right, uh, they didn't leave anything in here for me. Did the door close? Why did the door close? Well, let's uh, check the kitchen out then. I don't remember that being here. Aha, the pantry, it's the pantry door key. Yay, bolt, ah, bolt biters. Hello, sir. It's a stiff. Okay, I'm gonna grab this first. I found myself alone with the painful thoughts that I struggled to put on paper. The echo of my daughter still intoxicates my soul, and I feel the need to empty myself by writing these lines. Her laughter was the only light that illuminated my world of gray, even if it's just a little. But life played a cruel game to steal that light away from me. What I did was not intentional. Confronting the truth from time to time, reflecting on what I've done and what I couldn't do feels like an earthquake shaking my core. Maybe you can't understand. Perhaps no one will read these lines, but you should know that I, it wasn't my choice, but the circumstances beyond my control that led me down this path. My writings are nothing more than a desperate scream within myself. Even if no one reads these words, Writing brings some relief. Perhaps within these pages, I am a lost soul, but maybe one day these expressions will leave a mark where I got lost. It's pretty much the same thing you said before, man. Hey, man, give me some room. Okay. Whoa, look at this. What's that say? Hold on, baby. Check fuel every time. Oh, well, that's fantastic. I love that. Possible resources, Nevada, U.S. Navy. What in the hell is this? King. I think these are the devs of the game. Well, I don't know about that guy, but... Well, let's go. Going upstairs. Gonna cut some locks off. No one's gonna stop me or... Okay, it must have been the wind. All right, let's go up. See what's in the cupboard. Probably a head, if I had to guess. Probably a head. Skeleton key. One. So we've got zero, one, one. Something opened. I think I think we're at zero one one. What the hell opened? Aha! Uh -huh. Is that a lighter, man? Come on, give me something better than that. Oh, this looks like a padded room. 
Let's read. The day was another nightmare. I experienced one of the darkest moments of my life. My wife, the most precious part of my life, slipped away tragically in a car accident. The sound of the collision, the shattering glass, even remembering the pains, even remembering them pains my heart. In that moment, time stood still, and everything was dragged into a sudden dark void. But the pain didn't end there. My daughter became paralyzed as a result of the accident. Witnessing her trying to cling to life every day, yet failing, shatters my heart even more. I raised her with my own hands, embraced her with my love, and now it feels like I've taken her life with my own hands. I couldn't be a good father. Every day, I question why I brought such pain to my family. Perhaps writing these lines can somewhat alleviate the destruction within me. But right now, I feel like a lost, shattered soul. <laughs> well, he ended on the same note, but... Get it? Same note? Uh, okay, so we've got a light source, kinda. The silent case. Is that what that says, or does that say cage? Uh... Uh, E? I, I hit E. It said E, so I hit E. Alright, into the dark room. With a big lighter. Alright, yeah, this is where the combination comes in, I think. Still got this key. What is in there? Is that a note? What? Looks heavy. Aha. Uh -huh. Ha ha! Got a key. Got another key. What is this? A puzzle. Very, very strange. Uh, anyway, let's look at the puzzle. If it'll let us. It won't let us. Alright, moving on. There's another bathroom in here to the right. Making sure we're not missing anything. 1967. Nice bed. Another note. Yippee. Today I couldn't resist the anger boiling within me once again. I hate everything. This dull life. The painful memories. And most of all, the nightmares within myself. My doctor couldn't rescue me from this chaos. These medications, instead of calming the storm inside me, seems to intensify it. Those are not good medications. Why isn't he healing me? Why can't he find a cure for my illness? These questions are driving me even more insane. I'm lost in helpless, helplessness. My anger feels like a natural reaction to all of this. Perhaps, I hope, this internal storm will calm one day. But for now, the darkness within me leaves a bitter taste of hatred. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. What is this? Why is there... Is there someone pooping in here? That's a five. Zero one one five, right? Zero one one five. I need to write this down. Okay, I think that first number was zero, but I'm not sure. And we kind of don't have like an actual combination to anything. I'm gonna go check this first. See if I'm right. Okay. All right, okay. Okay. Yes, zero. Yeah, zero. And I'm pretty sure there's 115. Okay, basement time, baby. Yeah. With a lighter. <sighs> ah! Oh! Oh, man, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> My anus just turned into a black hole. You couldn't hammer a sewing needle in it right now. God, man. <sighs> the 
The old stair scare never fails. What the hell am I looking for? Another note? I know what it's going to say. It's going to say, man, I hate this. I like writing. It helps ease the pain. Man, this is a maze. Ah! Yeah! Wiggly man. Oh, crawl space. Yeah, this place opened up. What the hell is this place? Ah, this is so weird. Let's read. My daughter, my little angel. Ah, was dependent on life support in her hospital bed. And facing this reality was becoming increasingly difficult with each passing day. I didn't want it. No, I didn't want her to breathe in this dark world. I didn't want to condemn her to this life of pain and sorrow. Yet every day, the sound of the machines tethered to her tired body were shattering my heart. The turmoil within me, alongside the pain of feeling like a parent, was shaken by the despair... Or the desire to do what was best for her. Oh, man. Perhaps shutting off the machine would be the best decision for her. But making that decision was deepening the cracks. And that I had... Deepening the cracks I had created within myself. I didn't know what to do. All I knew was that I wanted an end to my daughter's suffering. And maybe making this decision would be one final gift for her. Man, dude. I hate reading that stuff. I hate it. I'm gonna kill you. Why? What did I do? I don't want to do this. You shouldn't have come here. Why not? You're the one that threw the damn tree in the road. I'm getting away from that radio. I don't like it at all. Not one bit. Oh, that's not good. Tis not good. Uh, cool beans. Looks like we got a uh, radio here. CB. Uh, more pictures. And a door with a combination. Ha ha. Here is the combination. Let's see if we got it right. 115. No? Are you serious, man? Maybe it's in a different order. I don't know. We'll try that. That definitely ain't it. Or we missed one. Okay, um, so we've got to find out the correct order to put these numbers. Maybe that's what that puzzle was? I don't know. Ooh, a guitar. Oh, yeah! Dude, do it again. Hey, it won't let me. Okay, um, whoa, what? What is that? I better not look at that. I'll get demonetized. I mean, we've got the combination. We just don't know what order they go in. I'm trying to look for clues, maybe. And I still don't know what this is. Aha! There we go. So the patterns. That's what that meant. So I think the upstairs was... Let's flip this around. I think it was that one. Yeah, we got to go back and find all the damn combinations. That's the order they go in. So I'm pretty sure the third one was zero, though. Yeah, now we get to wander our way back through Wonderland. In this nightmarish hellhole. Okay. There's the steps. Duck down. I got a bad feeling. Something's going to jump out and pinch my willy. All right, first number. I, like, I didn't even see that in the thing. 
Like, what even is that? That makes no sense. Maybe it has to, like, maybe, yeah, you have to match it up to what it could have been. Yeah, so I was right. I think it's the second to the last one. So that's zero. We'll go, we'll go ahead and mark that down. Zero. That does not look like a zero. There we go. All right. Uh, let's go find the other ones. We don't need all of them. Okay, I don't want to look at that dude. Seven. Is definitely two. Wait, did that say? Yeah, seven. I didn't even have seven on my roster. It wasn't one, it was seven. I'm so stupid. Or is that a one? <laughs> I have no idea. It's a one or a seven. But at least we know what shape it is. All right, let's go back upstairs. <laughs> Yeah, that was a seven, and then that's a one. And I do believe that that was the first. Yeah, that's the first one. So one is the first number. One, seven, zero. We don't need the other one. We can just guess it. Let's get out of here. Okay, we made it back to the room with the combination. We got one, seven, zero, and then we'll just do this. <laughs> Cheated it. All right, man. What in the hell is this corridor? Ow! Ow! I've always fought with myself. I can never change the outcome. What? I'm here, and I'll be here forever. So, hang on, man. So... I am so confused. Uh, okay, well, we're back in here. Diary. There's the diary. So, damn, man, the story kind of... It sucks, man, having to go through what he went through. We're locked in here. Damn, dude. I couldn't imagine. I hit E again. Well, this ain't a padded room, but it is like a cell. Oh. E. I can't read it. I didn't want my daughter to endure the pain after the accident. While thinking about what I could do to protect her, I thought of the silent call. A book could be a hope. Maybe we could have a chance to keep her alive. But I summoned an unknown entity. A vague connection was established between us. And sometimes I see it. I surrendered eventually to avoid harming people. But I never wanted any of this to happen. Now I'll spend the rest of my life in this cell. Doctors will take care of me. 
and I'll take care of my medication. The diary makes me feel better, but I keep repeating stories with the same ending. It's time to end this cycle and start a new page. I've decided to finish the diary. Perhaps a new page, a new hope, and a new beginning could emerge. I hope I can find a way of salvation for my lost soul. Wow. Still locked in here. Sad, man. What did the first... Let's read the first page. I didn't get to read it. This was exactly what I wanted to do to myself. I wanted to kill myself in this way countless times, but I chose to surrender. I'm here now all alone. Doctors diagnosed me with several anxiety and depression and taking my medication regularly. Now I aim to something. Oh, man. I didn't get to read it. You guys can pause and read, though. I get what he was saying. What a sad ending, bro. Like, my God. The past two games' endings have been terrible. But that about wraps it up. If you want to see more games like this, vote with the thumb button. Thumb me. And it lets me know you guys liked it, and uh, I'll make more of it. This title screen is disgusting. I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, check the links down in the description. Thank you guys for making it this far. If you want to subscribe to keep up to date with all the videos, please do. I love you. I'll see you in the next one.